musical jamboree, a song-packed, fun-filled half hour, highlighting the world's best-loved tunes. Here's the Bond dance, and Bill Bailey introducing your favorite entertainer. tell that everybody's all keyed up about having you drop in here at the party. We sure been expecting you and glad to have you. There's folks like Tex Williams and Doc Hopkins and the Candy Mountain Girls, just a big barn full of your favorites, all ready to perform for you. So you might be, uh, uh, you might be of the city slicker variety. Maybe we ought to, right off the bat here at the Shindig, place you out in the country where the air is fresher and the land is richer. Aye, aye, aye. I know just the fellow to do that. It's that buddy of mine, that yodeling, jumping cowboy, Kenny Roberts, and he's going to take you going down the country. Kenny Roberts!
couple of folks, Nancy Lee's got the guitar on. She's all ready to sing for us. Hey, though it's not that time, the title of the tune is Good Night, Darling. Nancy Lee. Hey. Thank you. Well, I, I just to sing one of them rheumatic songs that them musician fellers will sort of help me out. Will you start it off for me, boys? Such a happy girl am I And I'll tell you the reason why It's because I'm engaged to such a dear He comes to see me every day And a bird, he goes away he always will whisper in my ear, good night, darling, I must leave you. Just one more kiss before I go. Now I'll be back tomorrow night. If I cannot come, I'll write a line or two to let my darling David Alexander Jones. Yeah, that nice, easy joy of all my life. And I'm soon gonna be his wife. Then these words I no longer have to hear. Good night, darling. I must leave you. Just one more kiss before I go. Ain't that nice? I'll be back. Tomorrow night, if I cannot come, I'll write a line or two to let my darling know. Now you young gals, you listen to this and hear. Now young girls, all bear in mind, a true lover's hard to find. When you find one you know is good and true. It is well to remember this. He expects another kiss or another word or two of her he goes good night darling i must leave you just one more kiss before i go maybe two or three or four i'll be back tomorrow night if i cannot come i'll write a line or two to let my darling She's a wonderful entertainer, isn't she? She certainly is. And I tell you something else, not only uh, that, she's a wonderful housewife and a very devoted mother, which makes her just real, real welcome and uh, everyone's best pal around the old American barn dance. I heard the Kentucky Thoroughbreds warming up a little bit ago with some of that offbeat rhythm, and it was deep south likable. You still got that all set to go for us over there, boy? Huh? Well, come on, let's give a little sinking in the hole. I'm sinking in a hole, you're digging for me. You dig my grave and I'm your slave. Since I gave my soul to you that day. Just look at me now and you can see. I'm sinking in a hole.
tell you, the old Kentucky thoroughbreds, when you ask them for some music, why, they just haul off and give you something like sinking in the hole, which is mighty appropriate for this barn dance gathering. Oh, say, I know something I bet you haven't heard, and that's uh, Uncle Tom Corwin's version of the old uh, steamboat, the side wheeler, it pulls up alongside the Mississippi. I know a lot of the gang around here has, has heard it, but he, I tell you what happens. The boat comes in, and they try to unload the stock. And they're having an awful lot of trouble getting the old cow off unless they get the calf off first. But I think the way to tell this story is to have Uncle Tom do it for you. So we'll have, come on up here, Uncle Tom, and uh, unload that old steamer. I do it. Here it goes. Well, well, that depicts an old river scene that goes way back into the history of this good old USA. Well, I've got a song that kind of goes back pretty far in history, but the, uh, the uh, wonderful part about it is it's just as popular now as it ever was. It's Skip to Maloo, and those that are going to be doing the skipping are Jenny, Corky, and Sandy, our Candy Mountain girls. Skip to Maloo, my darling. and we thank you all very much. Neighbor, I don't know how it is generally, but I do know with the people with whom I'm acquainted that a very fine religious song sung for us by Doc Hopkins is always so well received. 
Think it'd be a good idea if you'd imagine along with us that we're all down to Little Brown Church and someone's just asked Miss Julie to strike a chord. Doc Hopkins has come front and center and he'd sing for us the legend of the robin's red breast. I'm sure you'll find it very inspirational. Oh, have you heard the story? It happened long ago. When Christ our blessed Savior was here on earth below. An echo through the ages from distant Calvary. I'll tell it to you simply as it was told to me. When Jesus hung in sorrow, our debt of shame to pay. No one was there to comfort or dry his tears away. A little bird in sorrow with a sober suit of brown gazed in tender pity, then slowly fluttered down. With gentle wings it fanned him to cool his aching head and hovered near his bosom, all stained with deepest red. And then when all was over, as if to mourn his loss, it rose with blood-stained feathers and circled round the cross. It flew away in sadness, and to this day it is said, it wears upon its bosom that crimson stain of red. When I shall cross the valley and go to seek my rest, may I wear like that robin God's sign upon my breast. Thank you very much, Doc Hopkins. Gee, everybody has such a wonderful time here at the Old American Barn Dance. And say, by the way, Tex Williams told me that he's going to sing a song for all of us. And I sure wouldn't put a stumbling block in that direction, eh, gang? Come on in here, Tex. Good to have you, boy. Pleasure to be here, sir. You got a tune for us? A uh, little thing called The Leaf of Love, if that's all oh, right. Oh, that's wonderful, Tex. Kick it off, Edward. Storm with rain and snow. You broke a heart in one short moment. The leaf of love is fallen low. I'll never forget. How could you go and leave me lonely? I had no one to call my own. The tree that bore my love for you, dear, has shed. Everybody enjoyed that. That's going to make folk music lovers of every doggone one of you. And hey, uh, Mr. Bill. Oh, yeah, Cousin Alvin. Yeah, I got 
got a song that I'd like to sing right now. Of course, it ain't one of them love songs exactly. It's yeah. sort of one of them uh, touching, pathetic, swooner <laughs> doers. <laughs> hey, pathetic the way you do it? Is that what you're driving yeah. at? Yeah. Well, what's the title of this epic that you're going to sing? And I say sing, I say that very loosely. Yeah, well, stand back, you young whippersnapper. I'm going to render for all you uh, lucky folks out there. A little tune called When the Snow Begins to Fall Next Summer, I'll spring back to you. Okay. <laughs> When the snow begins to fall next summer, I'll spring back to you. When banana splits are grown on peach trees, say I'll fly to in a canoe. When it's Monday afternoon, some Sunday, you'll find I'm still true. When the snow begins to fall next summer, I'll spring back to you. Snow begins to fall next summer. I'll spring back to you. When the sun is shining through the moonlight, say I'll stick to you. I'll stick like blue. When the roses bloom down in the ocean, you'll find I'm still true. When the snow begins to fall next summer, I'll spring back to you. Clear, boy. Summer, why I'll spring back to you. And when pushing willows all have kittens, say I'll promise to come back to you. When the cherry blossoms bloom in Iceland, you'll find I'm still true. And when the snow begins to fall next summer, <laughs> I'll spring back to you. I really mean it. I'll spring back to you. Last time I heard that song, I think the title of that used to be When He Swung an Axe Into My Dresser, It Was a Blow to My Vanity. <laughs> kind of running away with myself here. Tell you what, I'll get Kay Brewer to sing a good polka for us, and while I'm getting her all set to polka, I want you to look in on this situation. I think, I think it bears your investigation. You know, I think if you were to have uh, cupped an ear about here, you'd hear the horses back there in the stalls tapping their hoofs to all the good music that we've had here for you. Gee, I, I just hope you've enjoyed it half as much as I have. We really have a fine bunch here at the Old American Barn Dance. We hope that you'll say thanks to the nice people that bring you the Old American Barn Dance, our sponsor. And there's an old saying about uh, to show your appreciation for something, why the best way is to come back for more. Well, that's what we'll be hoping for, that you'll come back for more. Until Uncle Tom waves you in through the great big barn doors this is your old country squire, Bill Bailey, saying God bless you, and so long. Saying God bless you, and so long. Oh, wait, wait, oh, I'll be here, honey, in the center of the hall, the madam and left, her right hand star, her right left and form a star, the backward star is better than that, now come on, guys, you ain't seen yet, shoot that star. Everybody wink, 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 ball.